A former BBC radio presenter has been jailed for five and a half years for stalking other broadcasters online. Alex Belfield from Nottingham used his YouTube channel along with emails and social media. He was found guilty of harassing four victims, including Jeremy Vine. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball was in court. The judge said Alex Belfield weaponised the internet using an army of followers to spread false allegations that were driven by personal grudges and slights. We heard that even led to death threats, with one of his former colleagues driven to the brink of suicide. Belfield argued he was simply exercising his right to free speech, but today he returned to court to be sentenced for four stalking offences. The jury found that two of his victims were subjected to serious abuse and harassment. Hello, Chunky. It's a Wednesday afternoon live across the world. This is the voice of reason. Belfields targeted them here on his YouTube channel with words that had serious consequences. The judge said in many ways it was more serious than physical stalking. You're entitled to express your views, Mr Justice Siani told him, but you're not entitled to destroy your victims' lives. Jeremy Vine here on BBC Radio 2. Jeremy Vine was the most high-profile victim. Belfield published Mr Vine's home address and falsely accused Mr Vine of stealing BBC licence payers' money for his friend's memorial event. That prompted personal threats and thousands of abusive tweets, a response Mr Vine described as an avalanche of hatred. And Bernie Keith was targeted by Belfield too. He hosted shows on a radio station where they worked together. The judge said Mr Keith was terrified by false allegations which turned him into a shell. They prompted death threats from some of Belfield's followers. He came close to taking his own life. But during Belfield's five-week trial, he defended what he'd done. We must fight for free speech and the truth. Today, Belfield's barrister said he now has genuine remorse. And after seeing the distress of his targets in court, he now accepts they were victims. Jailing Belfield for five and a half years, the judge also imposed a series of restraining orders. That means he can't try to contact his victims or accusers. He can't even monitor them online. And if he breaches those conditions, he could face an even longer jail term. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today, Nottingham.